Hello and welcome to our Lange EMV product video. My name is Daniel Ply and I'm working in the sales department of our company. Today we would like to give you an overview of the Langer IC test system, which you can use for various EMC measurements on IC level. But before my colleague Sven König from the engineering department is going ahead with this, I would like to take the opportunity to quickly and shortly introduce our company and our company history. As Langer EMV Technik GmbH, we research, develop and produce in the field of EMC. We produce interference emissions and immunity EMC measurement technology, as well as the IC test system, which are both used in the development stages of the products. Langer EMV was originally founded in 1992 as an engineering office by Gunther Langer, who is still today still actively working and researching in the field of EMC technology. Back then, the company started with about four employees, concentrating on EMC consulting and EMC seminars, which is still a big and vital part of our product portfolio and is served to our customers worldwide. Today, we have about 40 employees. All departments of the company, from research and development, production, sales and distribution, are based in our offices in the eastern parts of Germany, near the city of Dresden. Everything is done from here. From here, we serve our worldwide located customer base, of which you can see a few references on the next slide. Our product portfolio consists of PCB immunity products, here mainly to mention our E1 immunity development system, which helps you to locate burst, EFT and ESD vulnerabilities on your assembly and inside the device. For BCP emission products, I would like to mention our near-field probes, which are now able to measure up to 40 GHz. The 40 GHz probes is one of our latest additions to our product portfolio and was introduced last year. Furthermore, we develop scanner systems with high-resolution near-field probes, so-called ICR probes, as well as pulse sources for emitting electric, magnetic, field and current pulses. This allows high precision and very high resolution IC analysis with injection probes called ICI probes. These sources allow side channel analysis, for instance, to test security critical circuits. And last but not least, another area of our product portfolio is the IC measurement technology, including our Lange IC test system, which is now introduced by my colleague Sven König. Enjoy. Hello. As already introduced, my name is Sven König and I am an engineer here in the Langer Lab. I am responsible for developing EMC test equipment. I do some EMC troubleshooting with our customers as well as seminars. And now I want to go over to our IC test system. I will give you an overview about the test setup and what kind of measurements you can do with the system. The base unit for the IC test system is this solid ground plane here. This plane is the ground reference between the device under test and the different test probes. Under this ground plane here is the connection board located. This board provides the power supply, signals for monitoring and controlling the tested IC. On the side here, you have the different connections to the other equipment, whatever you need for running the device. For the tested IC, you need such a special test board where the IC is located on the top of the board and on the bottom side you can find the different filters you need for the power supply and for the signals uh, to control or to monitor the IC. You also have here the two connectors to bring the signals from the IC to the connection board here under the ground plane. 
the test board, you can easily bring here into this opening of the ground plane. Here you have different sizes of this test board. You can use the standard size of 100 by 100 millimeters or with the different adapters you have the possibility also um, by creating different sizes of these test board if you need more space or something else. The control unit you can easily plug into the connection board and here you can control the power supply of the device under test and you have also two different signals here um, you can use for example uh, for the reset line or for other signal you would like to control. The oscilloscope adapter you can use for monitoring different signals uh, from the device under test. Here you can also connect it to the board and now you have four signals here for monitoring. Therefore it is possible that you use the, the probe of an oscilloscope and you connect it here to ground and to the signal. If you want to measure signals or high-speed signals in the frequency range of 100 MHz, you can use this probe holder here. With this holder, you can also use a probe of an oscilloscope and bring it directly into this holder that you have here in front of this holder a very good and short ground connection. With this magnetic holder you can adapt and adjust it very easily on this ground plane and bring it here directly to an IC pin for the measurement. To get closer to the details around the tested IC, you can use the microscope camera. Therefore, you need this camera holder where you have a magnetic base to put it very flexible on the ground plane. Here, on this holder, you can bring the camera in front of this holder to put it then above the IC. Now the test setup is completed and we can decide what kind of measurement we would like to do. For the conducted measurements, we can use such a probe here, where you can use this probe tip to connect it directly to the pin. This probe here is called P750 and this is an RF emission probe according to the 150 ohm standard. This probe has also a magnetic base to put it directly on this crown plane. And on the back side of the probe, you have the connections, depending on the measurement you would like to do. Now you can bring the probe on the ground plane and you put the tip to the pin you would like to measure. With the help of the microscope camera here, you can see if you are connected to the pin or not. You have also an integrated pin detection in the probe where you can see with the LED here if you are connected or not. This here is the setup for the conducted measurement and if you would like to do a rotator test, you need some space on the ground plane for the field probe.
Now you can take one of such field probes here and you can put this probe with this spacer ring in a defined distance above the IC. On top of these probes here, you have the connections to the test equipment you need for such measurements. It is also possible now to rotate this probe because with magnetic field probe, it is also important to measure in different directions. What I want to show you here is how easy you can change the test technology, whether you want to do emission or immunity testing, conducted or radiated. All measurements can be done with the same setup of the tested IC. An overview of the various test methods of the Langer IC test system you can see here in the table. I hope you enjoyed this short impression into the Langer IC product world. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a pleasant day. Langer EMV Technik for a development free of interference.